Welcome to my channel RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a drug named Salbutamol. About Salbutamol belongs to a class of drugs known as bronchodilators. Salbutamol, also known as albuterol. Salbutamol, albuterol, is a medication used to relax and open up your airways. It is used to relieve wheezing, coughing, chest tightness, and breathlessness in people with asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Medical Use Salbutamol is typically used to treat bronchospasm as well as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is also one of the most common medicines used in rescue inhalers, short-term bronchodilators to alleviate asthma attacks. As a beta-2 agonist, salbutamol also has use in obstetrics. Intravenous salbutamol can be used as a tocolytic to relax the uterine smooth muscle to delay premature labor. Salbutamol has been used to treat acute hyperkalemia, as it stimulates potassium flow into cells, thus lowering the potassium in the blood. What is Bronchospasm Is a sudden constriction of the muscles in the walls of the bronchioles. It is caused by the release, degranulation, of substances from mast cells or basophils under the influence of anaphylatoxins. It causes difficulty in breathing which ranges from mild to severe. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, COPD, is a type of progressive lung disease characterized by long-term respiratory symptoms and airflow limitation. The main symptoms include shortness of breath and a cough, which may or may not produce mucus. COPD progressively worsens, with everyday activities such as walking or dressing becoming difficult. While COPD is incurable, it is preventable and treatable. Asthma is a chronic, long-term condition that affects the airways in the lungs. The airways are tubes that carry air in and out of your lungs. If you have asthma, the airways can become inflamed and narrowed at times. This makes it harder for air to flow out of your airways when you breathe out. Contraindications Intravenous in the treatment of premature labor pre-existing or risk factors for ischemic heart disease, gestational age less than 22 weeks, conditions in which prolongation of pregnancy is hazardous, intrauterine fetal death, known lethal congenital or lethal chromosomal malformation, pulmonary hypertension. The non-intravenous formulation is not indicated for use in uncomplicated premature labor or threatened abortion. Special Precautions Patients with cardiovascular disease for example, arrhythmia, coronary insufficiency, hypertension, heart failure, diabetes mellitus, glaucoma, hyperthyroidism, hypokalemia, and seizures. Renal impairment Monitoring parameters monitor forced expiratory volume in the first second peak flow and or other pulmonary function tests, blood pressure, heart rate, central nervous system stimulation, serum glucose, potassium and creatinine, asthma symptoms, arterial or capillary blood gases if needed, lactate, and ECG, 4. Pregnancy Salbutamol is safe to use in pregnancy. It's important that your asthma is well treated, so do not hesitate to use your inhaler if you need it. Since salbutamol is inhaled and works in the lungs, very little of it gets into your blood and even less of it gets to your baby. Lactation 
it's okay to use salbutamol while breastfeeding and you can use your salbutamol inhaler as normal. It's important that you continue to treat your asthma while breastfeeding to keep you well. It's not known how much salbutamol gets into breast milk, but it's likely to be a very small amount. It has been used for many years in breastfeeding women without side effects on their babies. Pediatrics Salbutamol 2 mg per 5 ml oral solution is suitable for children and adults who are unable to use an inhaler device. Elderly response to treatment was significant in both young and old age groups suffering from acute asthmatic attack except for young female patients in which the percentage change of FEV1 increased compared to older patients. Among other patients, this value and percentage of possible improvement of FEV1 between the two groups did not change significantly and age did not play a significant role in assessing the response to treatment in an acute asthmatic attack. Drug Interactions Increased risk of hypokalemia with corticosteroids, diuretics, for example loop, thiazide, and xanthines, for example theophylline. Increased vascular effects with MAOIS and tricyclic antidepressants, TCAS. May cause severe bronchospasm when used with beta blockers, for example propranolol may decrease serum concentrations of digoxin. Side effects The most common side effects are fine tremors, anxiety, headache, muscle cramps, dry mouth and palpitation. Other symptoms may include tachycardia, arrhythmia, flushing of the skin, myocardial ischemia, rare and disturbances of sleep and behavior. Rarely occurring but of importance are allergic reactions of paradoxical bronchospasms, urticaria, hives, angioedema, hypotension, and collapse. High doses or prolonged use may cause hypokalemia, which is of concern, especially in patients with kidney failure and those on certain diuretics and xanthine derivatives. Brand names that are mostly prescribed by doctors. Ventolin, Asthali, Salbar, Salbitol. Dosage. Acute bronchospasm. Adult 2 to 4 mg, up to 8 mg, 3 to 4 times daily. As a modified release tablet, 8 mg 2 times a day. Child, 1 month to 2 years, 100 micrograms per kilogram, maximum 2 milligrams. 2 to 6 years, 1 to 2 milligrams. Greater than 6 years, 2 milligrams. Doses are to be taken 3 to 4 times a day. Elderly, initially, 2 milligrams 3 to 4 times daily. Intravenous Uncomplicated premature labor. Adult, for the arrest of preterm labor between 24 and 33 weeks of gestation, initially 10 micrograms per minute using a dilute solution of 20 micrograms per milliliter in glucose 5 percent, 200 micrograms per milliliter of salbutamol if using a syringe pump. Increase rare gradually at 10 minute intervals until there is a response, then increase slowly until contraction ceases. Maintain the rate for 1 hour after the contraction has stopped. Then gradually reduce the rate by 50% at intervals of 6 hours. Usual dose 10 to 45 micrograms per minute. Avoid prolonged therapy. Parenteral Severe bronchospasm Adult 250 micrograms as a solution of 50 micrograms per milliliter 
वाया इंट्रावेनस इंजेक्शन और वाया इंट्रावेनस इन्फ्यूजन ऑफ अ सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग 5 मिलीग्राम इन 500 हंड्रेड मिली लीटर्स एट अ रेट ऑफ थ्री टू ट्वेंटी माइक्रोग्राम्स पर मिनट एडजस्टेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द पेशेंट्स नीड हायर डोसेजेस मे बी यूज इन रेस्पिरेटोरी फेलियर इंट्रामस्क्यूलर सबक्यूटेनियस रिपीटेड एवरी फोर आवर्स इफ नेसेसरी सीवियर ब्रॉन्कोस्पाजम अडल्ट वाया नेबुलाइजर 2.5 टू 5 मिलीग्राम्स मे रिपीट अप टू फोर टाइम्स डेली ऑल्टरनेटिवली मे बी गिवन कंटिन्यूअसली एट अ रेट ऑफ 1 टू टू मिलीग्राम्स पर आर पेशेंट्स विद एस्थमा मे रिक्वायर सप्लीमेंटल ऑक्सीजन चाइल्ड ग्रेटर देन 18 मंथ्स वाया नेबुलाइजर 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव मिलीग्राम्स मे रिपीट अप टू फोर टाइम्स डेली ऑल्टरनेटिवली मे बी गिवन कंटिन्यूअसली एट अ रेट ऑफ वन टू टू मिलीग्राम्स पर आर पेशेंट्स विद एस्थमा मे रिक्वायर सप्लीमेंटल ऑक्सीजन इनहेलेशन एक्यूट ब्रॉन्कोस्पाजम अडल्ट एज एरोसोल वन हंड्रेड और टू हंड्रेड माइक्रोग्राम्स वन टू टू पफ्स थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स डेली टू पफ्स मे बी गिवन प्रायर टू एक्सर्शन टू प्रिवेंट एक्सरसाइज इंड्यूस्ड ब्रॉन्कोस्पाजम एक्यूट सीवियर एस्थमा अडल्ट एज एम डी आई फोर टू सिक्स इनहेलेशन मे बी गिवन एवरी टेन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वाया अ लार्ज वॉल्यूम स्पेसर अ फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ड क्वेश्चन इज सेल्ब्यूटामॉल अस्टेरॉयड No, salbutamol is not a steroid. The steroid-based inhalers are called corticosteroids. Those are preventative inhalers that work continuously to reduce inflammation of the airways. During the treatment of asthma, a salbutamol inhaler is combined with a steroid inhaler to control inflammation. Does salbutamol stop you from sleeping? High doses of asthma medications including salbutamol and steroid tablets can make it harder to sleep. Mechanism of action. Salbutamol is a beta 2 adrenergic agonist. The pharmacologic effects of beta 2 adrenoceptor agonist drugs are at least in part attributable to the stimulation of intracellular adenyl cyclase. the enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of adenosine triphosphate atp to cyclic 3 5 adenosine monophosphate cyclic amp increased cyclic amp levels cause relaxation of bronchial smooth muscle and inhibition of release of mediators of immediate hypersensitivity from cells especially from mast cells Thanks for watching please subscribe and like this video